every elytra on the server is gone and it's all because of me since when i joined the immune smp i had one goal a goal that would lead me to spend the next two months of my life making and ruining friendships fighting wars against the other players and ultimately tearing the server apart but why would i cause the server so much pain well every smp is made up of your friends people who you can trust and laugh with but i've never had that and since i was added to the server as a guest if i didn't make a big enough impact on the server i would be removed in two days ruining my chances of of becoming friends with the people on the server leaving me lonely once again but the season had already started and it wasn't going to be easy to make an impact on the server big enough that i can stay as a permanent member so i devised a plan to steal every elytra and being the holder of every single one the server owner would have no choice but to let me stay on the server for good and it all started when i logged in for the first time hello hi yo What's up? for some reason i have a sticky suspicion that you're about run! to kill me yeah run run <laughs> Cypro, what immunity do you have? What immunity do you have? Cypro, what immunity oh, do you have? Oh, crap. These two stacked players wanted to kill me for my immunity because on the immune SMT, you can become immune to different types of damage. And the one that I got was Blast, allowing me to survive TNT traps and creeper explosions. But I knew if I told them I had an overpowered ability like this, they would kill me and steal it. And as my health was slowly draining, I did the only thing I could in the situation. Screen share. Hold on. Screen hold share. On, hold on, hold on. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one sec. I'm gonna call a Flovey. I, I need somebody, bro. Please. Flovey, one of my good friends and the only person I knew on the server, had to answer my call and save me. Please. But after over a minute of waiting, he never joined, and I was beginning to lose hope. If I was combat locking to players as soon as I joined the server, how can I complete my mission of obtaining all the elytras and being added as a permanent member? My doubts aside, it had been almost three hours and the coast was likely clear to log in. Oh, I'm about to die. Please let me find some food at spawn. I went to go find some food to heal, but just as I thought I was safe, another stacked player showed up. Hello? What's up? You new to the server? Arco, a player who I had no info on, was nice enough to give me some iron armor, but then he said something I would have never expected. I'm trying to do something, but I need somebody else, so I don't know who to trust. All I can say right now, because I don't fully trust you, we can take over the server with it. Knowing this player might use his glitch against me, I had to figure out what it was, and maybe even team with him. You can get unattainable items, you can get bedrock. I mean, I have saved hot bars of, like, villagers that give you insanely op stuff and i also have a wormhole oh yeah i was doing a wormhole and just like that he leaked his master plan knowing i couldn't fight against swords that one tap you and potions that give you every effect in the game i had to get on his team i see somebody else trying to do the wormhole would you tell me how i'm gonna get myself i don't know i have to ask my friend he did it on another server now that he trusted me, he went to ask his friend about the wormhole items, and I went to one of the server's public bases. But on my way there, the worst thing that could have happened to me happened. Oh shoot, I'm, I'm dead to a buzz. I'm, I'm just... What? A buzz. The server's best PvPer, owner of the strongest team, and the most dangerous player on the server. Killing anyone he saw on site, showed up at the base I was at, but strangely, he didn't seem to want to kill me. I'm gonna like... Hi. I'm just gonna like leave. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, like follow you. Stuff. Yeah, sure. As he was giving me armor, I started to wonder. Everyone sees a buzz as a bad guy, yet he gave me, a player he didn't know and had no connection to, a set of max diamond armor. I couldn't help but be confused as to why he was giving me these items. Nevertheless, I had to leave before he changed his mind and killed me. But as I was trying to escape, he got his teammate on to come and meet with me. Hi. Cyber, can we team? Quilzy, the server's second best PvPer and a Buzz's right hand man, just asked me to join the strongest team on the server. But why? Yeah. Why did you invite me to your team? Okay, do you want me to be honest with you? Okay. Alright, so Cypher. So Quilzy explained to me how the other server members saw how powerful their team was and targeted them to keep them weak. But they were unsuccessful and now all the new players that were joining the server were going against them in the upcoming end fight, which was my opportunity to obtain all the server's elytras. Speaking of holding all the elytras, I should probably explain to you how I'm going to obtain every elytra before the rest of the server. When the end opens, everyone fights for the dragon neck, an item that does absolutely nothing. But elytras are much different. The elytra is an item that is extremely useful for travel and while players would normally go and look for one the world border in the end is only 4,000 blocks wide meaning there is an extremely limited supply of them and if i could build a flying machine to get to the end islands i could easily steal every single one sure 
I guess. Are you teamed with anybody right now? And in this moment, I came up with the most genius plan ever. You see, since I was a new player and many people on the server didn't know me, I could trick every team into letting me join them and get benefits from every player on the server. So I lied to them. Nah. Are you sure? Yes. But for them to trust me, I would have to spy for them. And the perfect opportunity came up as I was running to meet Arco and he was getting jumped by another server member. If I gave them info on when to attack, they would gain a free immunity and I would gain their trust. Uh, Crap, he's chasing me, he's chasing me, he's chasing me, he's chasing me. He's oh killing you? Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know, man. He's right behind me, he's like two feet away from me. Oh, I see. I see you guys. My arm, my arm is gonna break. He's leaving, I think. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? And just like that, we lost him, making enchanting my sword a huge mistake. Until oh, I see here, 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 here. Yeah, he actually is. Okay. Yeah, he's at the village. He's at the village. Come okay. to the village. Uh, come, come south. Come south. I'll ax him. Oh, he's stuck. Get him. Oh, this is such a free kill. Why can't I touch him, bro? It's like Rolling he's invincible again. or something. Boost me, boost me. We can do yeah, yeah, this kid, this kid is terrible. This kid's terrible. Oh, oh no, I'll somebody else. Here. Somebody else. I'll, I'll bust here. I'll bust here. Do you think I'll let us fight? I don't I don't know. He's he's eating, he must be. Hello? I think just one, just one, just one, just one, just one. Yeah, we gotta go. There's three other people, there's three people. Why is he just giving up? Yeah, Blackrock is dead. And just as I had planned, a Buzz and Quilzy killed our enemy, letting us get away, gaining them an immunity, and giving me their trust. Leaving me to log out that night feeling absolutely incredible, completely forgetting that the end fight was tomorrow. And I woke up horrified to see this message. I barely had any gear, none of the materials for the flying machine, and Arco wasn't online or responding to any of my DMs. Those wormhole items I was banking on were lost forever. If I couldn't manage to gather the materials for this flying machine, my time on the server would be over. I thought all hope was lost. I would have to ask a Buzz's team if they had any materials I could use and... Flow V just messaged me, and I got added to a group chat with a whole bunch of people going against the buzz, a base to give me a few essential items, and they thought I would be teamed with them. But they didn't know that I would do anything and betray anyone to get those elytras and become a permanent server member. Along with the group chat invite, Flow V sent me cords, and so I had to go see what it was. Let's go! Flow V, my friend that I thought had betrayed me from the start, had a full set for me and everything we would need to steal every elytra except for one thing. Slime. An essential block that flying machine needed to work was missing from his inventory and with the end fight and starting in less than 30 minutes there was no way we would get enough slime but i didn't give up hope and as i was meeting up with flow v i found something that would get us our slime this is the seed giving us access to the location of every biome on the server and running through the nether we could get to a swamp in no time and with less than 30 minutes left we could only hope that we would get the slime and make it to the end before it opens Vex is on me. Wait, what Yo, I just found a slime farm. The swamp that I went to had a pre-made slime farm, but nothing was in the chests and time no slime. was ticking. Oh, yeah, my no, was actually yeah. betrayal. Yeah, my stream might be a, a little slime spawned, a slime spawn, a slime spawn, a slime spawn. He all this Flovey, I'm coming, Flovey, I'm coming. With the slime balls in hand, not just my fate, but Flovey's as well, fell on my speed to make it to the end portal as fast as hey, possible. Then 17 in the nether. I just poured up to the- Okay, I'm gonna make a trap. I'm gonna make a trap. Ready? Okay, here. Take take the slime balls. Take the slime balls. I had done it, and the only thing left to do was to wait for the admins to fill in the portal. But as more people started arriving at the portal, I was beginning to wonder if they knew of our plans and would try and stop us. And as I watched each team come through the portal, I began to get nervous, and my nerves made me realize something. I had people I didn't want to let down, people I didn't want to betray, and staying in the server was a necessity now more than ever, not for my own sake, but for theirs as well. Well. And as every part of our plan finally yeah, fell into me, place, my new determination ready and my teammates by my side, we jumped into the end portal, go, go. prepared for whatever go, comes whatever next. It is, right? Wait, there's people here. Are they coming to us? 
Yes, they're coming to us. We have to go. We have to go. We have to go. Just as I suspected, people knew of our plans and were digging down to try and stop us. So if we couldn't get the flying machine to work, all our efforts would have been for nothing. Activate the, activate the machine. Jump in and activate it. It doesn't work. Oh, it's because Wait. there are slime blocks. It's because there are blocks down here. This was our last there. chance. If he put that block down and the flying machine didn't move, know, the players cool. looking for us would find us and kill us. Oh, then everything that's happened so why. far would have been for nothing. I would be they kicked from the server I, and let all of my teammates I down. I point. had to hope for a miracle. So place it right there. Oh my god! Look at us! <laughs> Holy crap. Do not move. Listen, do not move the boat. Look at the end island. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my god. god. Why should we pro? You pro first, because you're Yes, I pro, I pro, I pro. I made it, I made it, I made it. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. Pro, pro, pro. Reaching the end islands was a blessing. Not only did we have access to all the elytras, but everyone was busy fighting over a useless item and seeing us get all the achievements in chat. We were finally safe and now had to find an end city to collect the first elytra. You got the achievement, dude. Now everyone knows. Like, make it smaller. Should we tell them? Yeah. The oh, there's another city. There's another city and it has a ship. I see really? it. <gasps> yes. No, wait. No, wait. But still. It's an immunity or it re-rolls it. Oh. Yeah, let me get this elytra. Let me get this elytra. Let's go, dude. And as Flovey grabbed this elytra, I thought about everything that's happened in the past two days. From me joining the server and getting bullied, to making friends with the strongest team and learning to value friendship, that I decided whatever happened now, I was proud. And even if I got kicked, I would be happy with my time on the server. And now that we had the first elytra, all we had to do was steal the rest of them. And when Flovey delivered my elytra, we divided the server into 500 block sections and tracked our progress along the way. I found another, I found another entity, and it has a ship. Can I just like fly away? <laughs> it's like, and as we flew around the server for hours, I started to build a genuine connection with Flovey. The whole reason I started this was to stay in the server, but now the server meant more to me than I ever could have imagined. Yes, and everything was great until. Least, uh... Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh no. Yeah, that's bad. The dragon was killed, opening the end gateway, and that wouldn't have been a problem if I had told Coolzy and Abuzz that I was going after the Elytra. If they thought I had betrayed them, they most certainly would come after me and kill me, making everything that we had worked for disappear. And after over two hours of getting Elytras, my worst fear came true. Oh my god! I see Abuzz, I see, I see Coolzy, I see Coolzy, I see Coolzy. Fine, fine, fine. Dude, why are they- why are they so- why are they so far out? They see you. Oh my god! Hey, they're not in my direction. You're safe. How is that like- Nine... Oh, what do you get to How do you get to see Like- Oh my god! No, Fighting you? I'm dead. Yeah, I died. And after he killed me, I called him up for my items back, and luckily he was nice enough to give them to me. Getting my items back was a decent outcome to this whole conflict, and even better, I was able to get Quilzy and his team to trust me again. Okay, do they think you're on my team? But everything would come crashing down the next morning, as while I was sleeping, the server owner opened the end border over a thousand blocks, allowing Quilzy to gather over 20 elytras, more than me and Flovey had combined. But that wasn't the only message I had received. I finally did it. I achieved my goal of becoming a permanent server member but my journey can end here not after i've come this far so i kept on going seeking to keep the elytras away from the rest of the server just for fun but quilzy was going to be a real problem in keeping the elytras from the rest of the server since he has more elytras than me and Flubi combined there was only really one option so quilzy you know how you me and lovi have all the elytras on the server uh yeah so i'm thinking what if we all teamed up and then we got the whole server to hate us and we just kept the elytras away from every single person okay i'm willing to agree to that but under one circumstance really what what's in it for me what do i get out of this okay 
by the end of the server, however many people we kill, you get one Electra per kill. How's that? Sure. I'll do that. And thus, the gatekeepers were formed, comprised of me, Flovey, Quilzy, and his two teammates, Bush and Galactic. We were going to be the strongest team yet and keep the ability to fly away from the rest of the server. But I guess the other server members didn't really like this. And so they formed a 10 player team and started to tear down the city Flovey built for himself. I had no personal connection to the city, but Flovey had been there for me in my toughest moments. And so I had to repay the favor. Even though I wanted to help, it was late for me. And if my parents caught me online this late i would have to break the rules combat log and be banned off the server but i couldn't sit back and watch my only teammate lose the thing he loved most and this was a risk i was willing to take so i hopped in a call with him and created a stasis chamber so we could talk to the people destroying Flovyville. your Flovyville is the reason why i got killed last time because you, you got killed so you were killing cloudy he was a member of Flovyville, remember and i wasn't a teammate the people of my village mattered more than my friends all right what? People of my village are like my family. I was defending water, we stopped the fight. Bro, that's so mean. We weren't going to let the enemy team destroy Flovyville, and after seeing how much this means to him, like my family, I took him to my private base so we could gear up, recruit another member water, and save the town. But with our teammate Galactic being a double agent, this fight went from a 4v6 to a 3v7. But before we start fighting, real quick, I just want to ask you to subscribe. It takes a lot of effort to make these videos, and if you don't subscribe, you may never see me again. So go underneath this video and press that button. Now, let the fight begin. Yeah, we going. Yeah, we're I'm gonna pro on them so I can, we can quick drop. They're running! Oh, the There's no way they're running. They're... There's no way. Yeah, just quick drop this guy. Oh, he's lagging! Yeah, he's lagging, he's lagging. Yeah. He's dead. Easy! Nice! Oh, good guy. I found skill, I found skill, I found skill it! Oh, Argo! Leave my boy alone! He's so dead. Bro, Soxy's fighting me. Argo's so dead. Yeah, he's so low. I don't have strength. Vampire doesn't have a sword, dude. He has an iron oh, sword. Dead, 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 dead. Although I got a kill, we were being heavily outnumbered and had to recruit another player, or else we would die and lose the monopoly on Elytras. You, you try to go through the spawn portal. Go to spawn. Go to spawn. Go to spawn. It's so. Uh, it's so. Bro, Spicy, get on. We're gonna die. Our good doesn't have gaps. What? Our good doesn't have gaps. I'm dead. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, that's why. Do I get out of I got stuck in a cobweb. No, 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 no. Curl. We keep fighting. We keep fighting. We keep fighting. Are you guys winning? Are you guys winning right now? We are, but God. Like, it's kind of hard to tell. No way! I'm not going to Yes, Dad. I'm supposed to eat right now, by the way, so... Everything up to this point was for nothing because I broke a rule I was about to be banned off the server forever But skillet had mercy on one of the most selfish players on the server me I've been so blinded by an item that I didn't realize what a true monster I was I had to right my wrongs and the best way I thought of doing that was to organize a 3v3 to end all conflict Generated during the elytra war if we won they would have to stop attacking us and we would get to keep our elytras However, if they won we would give all our elytras away and disband our team forever and with the the final terms agreed to we met up and said our final speeches so i created a group like a couple weeks ago to go against because you and flovey ever since flovey betrayed hogged all the lytras because we were teamed while we were going on getting killed by the entire server you guys went took all the elytras on the server and took it for yourself i i i couldn't i couldn't stay with that so i created this group to get revenge on what you guys did. So now we are here, we are fighting once and for all for the lightress that you guys took. All right, well, this war has caused me to betray so many people and ruin relationships with like so many different teams on the server. And today, I just want to end all of that. So if you guys are ready, then we'll start the fight. All right, whenever Vamp said. Uh, okay. Now the coding kit drops and just start fighting. Yeah. I get bombard. That doesn't work. They have a projection. Dude, what is this paint? Uh, I don't, it only works on the Yo, tell me with bomb. I'm bomb. Uh, water keeps running to me. Skill is screaming that I'm low right now. I swear to God. Oh, 
What a die. Yeah, I already killed one. <laughs> this skill is so laggy. I know. What a die right now. Most of our elytras, but we give them some shit. Because I feel bad. Oh, dead, 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 dead. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> I feel so bad. This shit breaks. This shit Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> I killed all three of them. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Winning was great for sure, but I didn't feel proud of myself. And even though they lost, I watched everyone having fun at spawn. That's when I realized what this game was all about. Having fun. That's the reason I started this in the first place. To have fun with my friends. And the reason that the players of the server have been trying to kill us is because we were taking that joy away from them. And at this point, I knew what I had to do. Guys, gather on the bed. So you guys have gone to such great lengths to get these elytras you guys have made 10 player teams you've organized super attacks on us with like all like the whole server against us and i think it's just time that i end the elytra war what? we're good oh who got that so i'm gonna Dude, give wait, everybody what? here an elytra just as wait, good just... as good but, measure but why bro why because you guys have done so much and so that's the end of the Electro War. Why? Why though? Because you you put so much effort into trying to get these Elytras that I don't think it's fair that by the end of the server you have at least a chance to use them. Honestly, I mean, you guys fought really well. You guys fought super well. We will give you guys that. You guys did your best and, you know, we recognize that. So. Since you guys did your best and you guys definitely tried, even though you were like bungee cording everywhere, we still took the decision of, you know, it, it, it was fair just to give you the elytras. Because we realized that the true elytras were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Sorry, bro. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk, Dad. Good talk. Dude, Good I'm talk. just trying to make it more cinematic for him, bro. I but I'm, thank you guys I mean, for such a good you, season of me and SMP, and I'll definitely be coming back for season two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, Wait, Dad, Boom. Boom. Sure, let's, let's, get, uh, let's get a screening. Wait, Black right. No, do it on the Do it on the stone. Do it on the stone. Yeah, no, Coolsy's well. Bro, <laughs> Coolsy took a lean back out of spotlight. your netherite. Get out of your netherite, bro. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Just put the diamond no, on. No, please. And there, we took our final screenshot, and the Immune SMP closed its first season.